Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the heart? To celebrate our nation, that was Skylar Cole with tonight's National Anthem performance. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, thank you very much. Now, the NBA has accepted that this is an era of player movement. Commissioner Adam Silver says the data shows that superstars moving isn't necessarily a bad thing because it allows situations to change. Teams that may not be in a competitive position hope that they can sign one of those players. And as we know, Kevin, hope springs eternal. It always does. It keeps the fans involved and looking for more. David, thanks. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton, the small forward, with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Holiday leads the backcourt with Connaughton by his side. And it's Portis in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Los Angeles... Wall and Powell are the guard set. George and Zubats inside at the four and the five. And it's Leonard in at the three. Veteran players are well represented, Greg, in this one. And all that experience on the court only adds to the intrigue. Yeah, and it should make for a more polished game overall. More discipline, less mistakes. Just high IQ basketball. Here's Holiday. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Down to five on the shot clock. Middleton inside the three-point line. Tries again. And Portis with the layup. Really strong rebounding on the interior. And he gets the easy putback. Wall against Holiday. It's rebounded by Portis. Here's Connaughton. No good with the triple. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for Los Angeles. Short. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Bobby Portis. George knows how to get his man to overcommit and off balance so he can draw the foul. He's got a number of sneaky veteran Take a break. tricks Take a break. that he effectively Two uses. Stops. That free throw good from George. Well, in spite of the critics and the injuries, Paul George continues to produce one of the league's truly elite players. And both free throws good for Paul George. And you mentioned the injuries for Paul George. Uh, let's see, GA, the broken leg, shoulder surgeries, last season a torn elbow ligament. And, and I'm sure there are a few others, Kevin. <laughs> but give him credit. To, to battle through and maintain his greatness tells you something about his competitive world. Now Leonard, after Chris Middleton missed from long range, wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. 
Connaughton with it. Passes to Giannis. Got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Here's Leonard, and they cash in right away with the quick shot. Poor design there defensively. They know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Now here's Giannis. Knocks it loose. Powell with the steal. To the inside. And there's Paul George on the assist by Powell. And George able to adjust his shot there. A tough one to block when he does that. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Kicks it out to Giannis. Rebound by John Wall. Boy, defense non-existent there, but they catch a break as he whiffs it. George against Middleton. George passes to Zubats. That one falls. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. Now, here's Connaughton. Middleton outside. Giannis high post. Nice move. And the layup is good. Really confident from the interior because of his length and strength. Giannis feels like he can score from anywhere, anytime. Holiday against Wall. Zubats a screen on Holiday with the step back. Shoots from 12. Left side, George. Off target from three-point range. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Bucks. Trailing by two. Buries it from three-point range. Boy, that is some kind of heads-up basketball from Holiday. He does not sleep on the wide-open man and found him perfect. Giannis against George. From the arc. Rebounded by the Bucks. A bit of pride at stake. Trying to get that last three ball back, but couldn't get it to fall. Connaughton passes to Holiday. Pass to Andekumbo. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Andekumbo has got six points. Boy, that basketball IQ you see from Holiday understated but consistent so valuable especially in these pick and roll sets where he just cuts up defenses and with the 15th pick in the 2011 draft Kawhi Leonard wasn't highly touted coming out of high school or college uh, listen even in the pros recognition took a while uh, how about this he won finals MVP and defensive player of the year before he ever made an all-star team now one of sure, the sure. 75 greatest That free throw good from Leonard. And since 1999, the Clippers and Lakers have shared their downtown L.A. arena. The only NBA teams to split a venue, but that's going to change soon. Brooke Lopez has checked in for Portis. Both free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. The Clippers broke ground on their new arena, set to open in Inglewood in 2024. I, I've seen the footprint. You fly right into LAX, and you see it every time. It's going to be beautiful. And that'll be huge for the Clips. They're trying to create their own identity in Southern California. Having a venue just for the Clippers will help. Here's Leonard following the basket by Giannis. And here's Leonard. Zubats 
with the screen for Leonard. Wants to get it to Zubac. And does. And the shot goes in. And some serious ingenuity from Leonard there. He sees the opening and then just makes the right read. Holiday, the pass to Andacumbo. There's the pass to Middleton. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Clippers trail by four. And Wall kicks to Zubats. He dishes it to Powell. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Connaughton passes to Giannis. On the wing, Holiday. Back to Middleton. Launches it. And no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. George against Middleton. Outside wall. That misses had a chance to tie it there. Milwaukee's gone two of five from three point land here in the first quarter. And Middleton kicks to Connington. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Pass to George. George with a screen on Holiday. Here's Wall. And after not playing for a season, John Wall back in action. Brought out by the Rockets and he signs with the Clippers. If he can get back to where he was, that's a huge win for the Clippers. Could serve as a deadly third option for L.A. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. To me, it's been the ball movement. That's been the key. I mean, going That's from great. good to great. That's Not great. settling for a good shot, good shot, making that extra pass, keeping the defense off balance, and taking great shots. You also have to admire how they've challenged the defense inside, getting a lot of points in the paint. And that one falls for John Wall. You know, when you think about the all-time greats in Milwaukee Bucks history, I mean, two names come right to mind at the top of the list. Lou Alcindor, also known now as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Marcus Morris has checked in for Zubac. Batum comes in for George. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Leonard. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Norman Powell. Well, there's no denying that when Wall is healthy, he is still a major threat in this league. I mean, he's lightning quick as a point guard, and he has tremendous defensive instincts. Holiday against Wall. Holiday gets the bucket, and the Bucks lead by two. Clark, both Kareem and Giannis Antetokounmpo are greats in their own unique respective right, aren't they? Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, forces of nature, both of those guys. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the iconic and unmatched skyhook, which was a lethal weapon. And then Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, you think about his athleticism, his speed, his ball handling skills at seven feet tall is something we've not quite seen. Both of those guys had similar impact in their uniqueness and their championship caliber mindsets. The Clippers shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. George Hills checked in for Milwaukee. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And Joe Allen will bring it up for Milwaukee. Kicks it to Lopez. Batum against Ibaka. Passes it to Ingles. Lets it go from deep. Rebound by the Clippers. Outside Batum. And Gennard wide open. He shoots. And the Clippers miss again. 
nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. Took him no time at all on that one. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. And here is Los Angeles now. Following the three by Milwaukee, here's Wall. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. Boy, you love Wall's tenacity there. Takes the contact and finds a way to finish through it. Hill passes to Allen. Lopez outside. Shot clock at five. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Robert Covington's checked in for the Clippers. The Clippers have gone 7 of 15 from the field to this point. Morris with a screen on Hill. And the dunk by Jackson. It's easy to forget about Jackson's bunnies, but he's more than happy to remind you. Now Hill. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Over to the wing. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Lopez. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. For Los Angeles, they've gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. Morris outside. Allen against Kennard. Covington a screen on Allen. Kennard shot is off. The Bucks trail. Now, here is Hill. Allen outside. There's the three. Batum grabs the miss. Los Angeles has gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. A can cold from outside. Kennard for three. It's good from long range. And it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. Now here's Allen. He feeds it to Ibaka. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And offensively, Ibaka's been spending more time out on the perimeter, but, but watching him work inside there, you realize that may still be his bread and butter. Covington against Lopez. Covington dishes to Jackson. He kicks it to Morris. Kept alive. Covington with the bucket. Boy, how about the effort and energy that time by Covington. Just worked his way right to the glass and got the follow-up basket. Ingles against Batum. Tries from seven. Ingles can't get it to go. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 16-7 run. Pass to Kunar. Over Hill. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. And when you leave a man open, Batum finds it. Great feel for the game. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And Ibaka kicks to Hill. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Fires the three. Rebounded by Covington. Here's Kennard. Let's the three fly. And so the first quarter is in the books. Clippers ahead. As they end the first quarter with a huge surge. An 18-7 run. The second quarter coming up right after this break. So don't go anywhere. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Los Angeles. Uh, they've been so aggressive, going strong at the defense, looking to score off of that penetration. Something else they've done well early? 
converting their trips to the free throw line, not just getting there, but knocking down those foul shots. The guard and off guard, filled by Jackson and Powell. The stars of the team, Leonard and George, are the forwards. And it's Morris in at the center position. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Now, here's Connaughton. Holiday with it. Middleton outside. Lets it go with a three. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Middleton's got six. Middleton really is an amazing shooter. Absolutely amazing, especially from long distance. Morris kicks to Leonard. And here is Powell. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. You got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes I'm going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. I like the fact that Middleton can get the shot he wants because of his ball handling ability. Morris looking over the floor. Holiday against Jackson. And here's George for three. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. Bucks trail by four. Right side, Holiday. Middleton outside. From past the arc, hits the three point bomb. Middleton's got eight points in the quarter. You know, he's going to continue to bury those if that's how they're going to D him up. And the picture of consistency, Chris Middleton is like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time and if they don't think about it at least they might be distracted by your presence that free throw good from Leonard and one reason for Middleton's consistency he plays at his own pace and that's a great point Kevin and with his size and shooting touch he doesn't need to blow by his man to score all about getting to his spots. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Zubat is checked in for Morris. And John Wall subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. Middleton outside. A three ball. It's hauled in by Zubat. Zubat has got his fourth rebound in this one. Leonard the pass to Wall. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Wall's got nine points. And he's got great length for a point guard, and Wall repeatedly is able to do damage inside because of it. Middleton outside. Here's the three. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got four assists in the game. And Wall kicks to Leonard. Takes it from 10, and that one, good. He's got 10. Oh, it's not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. Now, here's Portis. The pass to Connaughton from outside the arc, and again, Milwaukee with the triple. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. For the Clippers organization, GA, what do you think the goal is? Well, it, it's clear to me, Kevin, get to the NBA Finals. The, the Clippers have never made it there. And I think a trip to the Finals is within reach of this group. They just need to stay healthy.
Antetokounmpo is checked in for Milwaukee. Wall looking for an opening. There's the dish to Powell. Outside, George. Pass to Zubat. It's so bad to Kumbo. Holiday against Wall. Launches a three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. Now Zubats, and again the turnover by the Clippers. The Bucks have gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Greg, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. There's the lob into the Kumbo. Oh, and out of the Kumbo, hammers it in. How about the springs of this guy, Antetokounmpo, also known as the Greek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. Wall. Passes it to Pop. To end the run. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got five rebounds tonight. Middleton finds Giannis. Holiday, a screen on George. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And the Clippers call time here. And we see stars, Clark, that dominate with skill. Others do it more with athleticism. Which would you prefer to build around if you were coaching? If I had to only pick one, Kevin, I, obviously I'd like to have both skill and athleticism. But skill is so critically important in any sport, particularly basketball. Guys that can shoot, handle the ball, pass it, and do the fundamental things well. And um, I think that trumps athleticism over the long haul. Now, here's Zubats. Back to Wall. Pass to Leonard. To halt the run. And good. Coming off the assist by Wall. Leonard's got nine points in the quarter. That may not be his first choice, but Kawhi's not going to pass it up if it's there for him. Good decision to take the quick jumper off the catch. Here's Giannis. And the dunk by Giannis. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficiently. Leonard on the wing. Defended by Middleton. He doesn't hit that one. And Milwaukee will come the other way. To the paint. 
count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Now it's a seven point Bucks lead. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Over Middleton. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. You know, one reason Giannis has won Defensive Player of the Year is his agility and mobility. He can stay in front of guys and stay connected to shooters, too. Now, here's Adetokounmpo. Just five to shoot. Puts one up from 19. Wall grabs the board. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Eight feet away. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Inside. Here's Middleton. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. Middleton's got 18 points in the game. All against Holiday. With the shot. And again, no good by the Clippers. Bucks leading by nine. Adetokounmpo up top. Zubats defending. Outside Holiday. Adetokounmpo, a screen on wall. Holiday finds Giannis. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And Giannis's journey, GA, so incredibly compelling. A full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. First free throw is good. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Robert Covington's checked in for Zubox. Batum comes in for George. And it's Luke Kennard in for Norman Powell. And so he hits both. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt, and, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer, and if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find him. Los Angeles calls timeout. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Antetokounmpo. Get 
Now here's Wall. Nine points in the game so far. Leonard sets a screen for Wall. To end the cold streak. Kennard on the wing. Six on the shot clock. 18 feet out. And with that, the Bucks' lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Kawhi Leonard. And that high release point on Leonard's shot makes that mid-range jumper tough to contest. Now here's Allen. And here's Hill for three. Sinks the triple. Hill's got the lead up to 12 now for the Bucks. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. Leonard against Middleton, 13 feet away. And it's the Clippers scoring again. And the fact that Leonard can pour it in like tonight, in addition to his defense, is really why he's one of the best two-way players we've ever seen. Now, here is Hill. Allen outside. Ibaka wishes to Allen. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Kennard up top, defended by Allen. Outside Leonard. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And punishing move there on the interior. Usually Leonard's going to get the bucket, draw the foul, or both. The Clippers have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line, not missing their chances when they get them. Reggie Jackson's checked in for John Wall. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for the Bucks. Both free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Mark, if you take a look at the superstars on this Bucks team, they are extremely selfless. Yeah, they really are. That's one of their great attributes. They just want to win. The pieces fit well together. Doesn't matter how they do it, who does it. They're all in it to win championships. A total team mindset. Now Batum. After Joe Ingles missing on that last three-pointer. Here's Covington. No good. Good D by Lopez. And so Allen will bring it up now for the Bucks. They're leading by eight. It's back to Hill. Great D that time from Leonard. Los Angeles has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Covington, a screen on Ingles. Ingles against Jackson. Good! And with the defender draped all over him, Jackson has that strength to fight through the contact. Jackson against Hill, and the pass to Ingles, shoots the three, gets the three-pointer to fall. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Kennard, the bounce pass, to the middle. Here's Batum, the rebound by Ibaka. Bucks leading by nine. Allen kicks to Hill. 107 left in the first half. Ingles against Leonard. And it's sent back by Leonard. And just a big-time shot-blocking threat. Leonard's instincts on defense are just mind-boggling. Knows when to go after the blocks. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is. That's a tough shot. Now, here is Hill, and here's Ingles outside. Rebound by the Clippers. Batum's got four rebounds now tonight. Fires from deep, and another three for the Clippers. The outside stroke of Batum, too nice. He knocks him down in bunches. 
Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Kennard against Allen. Pass to Ingles. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Ingles has got six. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Here's Leonard. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's Milwaukee heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've been giving John Wall all sorts of problems. He still hasn't been able to solve their defense. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, it seemed like you all were dictating tempo in the first half. How did you do that? Okay, we're getting the styles, grabbing the rebound now, just trying to push and try to get the best shot available. Problem solved in transition. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game is still to play. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the stripe time and time again. We've played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. A talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at forward. Holiday leads the backcourt with Connaughton by his side. And it's Portis in at the center. An area that Leonard has focused on honing, just taking what the D gives you in that pick and roll. Outside Holiday. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Giannis a screen on Leonard. Middleton the pass to Anadokounmpo. And he goes right. George and slams it down. How about the flash by Anta Tacumpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. Clippers trail by seven. Pass to Zubats. Outside Leonard. Zubats with the screen for Leonard. Outside Wall. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. A three-pointer off the mark. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Giannis. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Giannis continues to expand his offensive arsenal. And with that, his confidence and ability can actually take over more. Now, here's George. There's a screen. Drains the three-pointer. George has got seven points in the game. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Pass to Giannis. Connaughton with it. Nine points in the game so far. Outside Holiday. Shoots over Zubats. And the rejection by Zubats. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Shoots from 14. Rebound, Milwaukee. Giannis has got his fourth rebound in this one. There's the lob. And the Kumbo throws down the alley-oop slam. It's really easy to understand why this team thinks so highly of Antetokounmpo. I mean, a smart player. He takes high percentage shots. And he's team first in his approach. Now here's Leonard. 21 points in the game. 
and now in his 14th NBA season, just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. And Giannis gets it to go. And now it's a 10-point Bucks lead. And with Giannis, a little power goes a long way, getting him past the contact into a shot. And George kicks to Leonard. And there's the pass to Powell. Wall up top from deep. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. That's his first foul. And the Clippers making a change here. Morris has checked in. Bucks leading by 10. Watch freak, man. Onto Takumbo looking it over. Hey, yo, yo, right here. Ball, ball. And he comes up with the deuce. Giannis has got 10 points now just in this quarter. You know, Greg, you can make the case. Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And you know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked. Just one all-star game, but... Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple All-Star seasons. And the Clippers call time here. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Zubox finds Wall. Powell, no one around him, traps in the tray. Powell's got five points so far. You get open and Wall will find you. He's got one of the best assist averages in NBA history. Middleton the pass to Portis. Now here's Middleton. On to Kumbo, a screen on George. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Marcus Morris picks one up there. Man, that was a remarkable pump fake from Anta Takumpo. I mean, he's really good at selling that shot fake. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. He is creeping up in those all-time conversations. Giannis has won regular season and finals MVP plus defensive player of the year. Quite the resume, and he is not done for a while, folks. Yeah. 
And both free throws good for Giannis. Clippers trail by 11. Here's George. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. I like the intensity that George plays with down inside. It's really what earns him a lot of these calls. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen from Milwaukee? I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. You know, another thing that stands out to me is their passing in this game. I mean, they've done a tremendous job sharing the ball and setting each other up for success. And both free throws, good for Paul George. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They've held a 12-point lead early. From downtown, it's held in by Zubac. Zubac has got seven rebounds in the game. Zubac a screen on Middleton. Los Angeles with another miss. Bucks leading by nine. Hanta Takumbo dishes to Holiday. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Wall against Portis. A three from Morris. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Morris has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Giannis outside. Connaughton passes to Portis. Middleton for three. And that one is off. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And here's George. Nine points in the game so far. Zubats with the screen for George. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. With a few 40% seasons from deep, George has become one of the top three-point shooters in the game. Middleton outside. Takes the three. Morris with the rebound. Here's the Clippers. Big run right now going for him. 11-2. Pass to Zubats. This is to Powell. For the tie. The rebound by the Bucks. Ande Dekumbo has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Passes it to Portis. Outside Holiday. Here's Hanson to Kumbo. And again, the Bucks miss. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. Pass to Powell. Jacks up a three. And the three ball is good. Powell's got it all tied up now for the Clippers. Bucks have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. Now the Clippers trading last season for Norman Powell. And uh, as they say, Greg, the rich get, get richer. Yeah, an excellent two-way player. Uh, their wing depth becoming the envy of the league. And, and he's just coming into his prime. So he fits the timeline of their star.
A different look for the Clippers. Batum comes in for Ivica Zubac. And it's Jackson in for John Wall. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. Baca comes in for Antetokounmpo. Joe Ingles is checked in for Chris Middleton. And Allen subbed in for Pat Connaughton. Allen kicks to Ingles. The pass to Holiday. Over Jackson. Trying to end the drought. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Holiday does everything, including the little things, like grabbing that rebound there. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Robert Covington's checked in for Los Angeles. He is the epitome of a seasoned veteran. Drew Holiday has performed at a high level no matter what uniform he's had on. Now here's Powell. Eight points for him. Covington setting the pick for Powell. Count the basket and the foul. That's on Brooke Lopez. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. Milwaukee making a switch here. Hills checked in. The free throw drops for Pop. And about Drew Holiday, he's got that championship mentality. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, he established that with the Bucks winning the title. That late in your career, especially after the career he's had, it's got to feel good. I mean, by far, one of the hardest workers in the game, Drew Holiday. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for Los Angeles. Powell against Allen. Morris with a screen on Allen. Six to shoot. Batum with the three. Gets it to go from beyond the up. Batum's got six points. Unselfishness always admirable in a basketball player. And Covington consistent at giving it up when one of his teammates is open. Jackson against Hill from the Bengals. That one misses. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And Batum kicks to Covington. And another three for the Clippers. And that's really good use of the catch and shoot. Outstanding by Covington. He's a quick decision maker. And he usually makes his decision as the pass is being thrown to him as to what kind of shot he's going to get off. And here is Ingles. After the three-pointer from Robert Covington. Jackson in the corner. The three. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. Bucks trail by six. Allen in the post. Howell on him. Allen finds Ibaka. Now Allen outside Hill. To stop the run. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Covington's got rebound number five here tonight. Jackson looking it over. He dishes it to Powell. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. And the Bucks, they're shooting at 51%. Really so. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat.
Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Pop. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Drew Holiday is checked in for George Hill. Dishes to Ibaka. Trying to get something going. Yep, it goes. And the Clipper lead is cut to just five on the basket from Drew Holiday. This is clearly an area Holiday wants to improve. When he is knocking it down from deep, the floor opens wide up for him. Here's Morris. Milwaukee with the rebound. Ibaka's got his fourth rebound in this one. Holiday, the pass to Allen. Back to Holiday. Beyond the arc. Batum grabs the miss. Batum's got his fifth rebound in this one. Down low, good on. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Los Angeles. They've shown no let up. Penetration, knife it inside. The defense has to tighten it up if they want to slow this team down. They've also found a lot of shots at the arc in this one and allowing their good shooters to tee it up. And the first one drops. He's perfect from the line this time. And so Allen will bring it up now for Milwaukee. Kicks to Ingles. Lopez against Morris. Outside Holiday. Lock at six. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Robert Covington picks one up. You know, Holiday is deceptively tall and strong and has great point guard skills, and that makes it really hard to defend him. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And taking a look back at last year's numbers, he's about a 76% shooter. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Holiday really is a soft-spoken guy on and off the court. Leads by example. Is extremely reliable and talented. And his teammates have great respect for him because of it. Both free throws. Good from Drew Holiday. Los Angeles leading by five. Outside Jackson and out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. One forty one left in the third. Outside Holiday, the tray. It's Reggie Jackson with the rebound. The Clippers shooting it beautiful here in the third, fifty six percent from the field. to Kennard. There's the triple. Ingles with the rebound. Bucks trail by five. Outside Holiday. For three. Gets it from three-point range. Holiday's got 13. You know, he's often the setup guy, but Holiday gives you just as much, maybe even more, as a terrific finisher. Here's Jackson. Rebounded by the Bucks. Now here is Holiday. 
13 points in the game. Passes it to a bucket. Shoots over Covington. Here's Lopez. He nails it. And we're tied up. Lopez has got his first points in this one. Because of that big body and seven foot frame, Lopez a handful to keep off the glass. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Covington kicks to Jackson. Pass to Morris. Fires for three. Rebounded by Serge Ibaka. It's Allen on the wing. Kennard covering. And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Allen. Taking it strong. Nice finish by the big fella. Way to get after it, Lopez. Giannis on the Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We come back right after this. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Wall and Powell are the guard set. George and Zubats inside at the four and the five. And it's Leonard in its small forward. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. You can tell that Giannis takes pride in his activity level, the way he plays his intensity level. And you see the result of that activity on second-chance buckets like this. Now, here's Leonard. Makes it off the glass. Leonard's got 23 points. And inside, Kawhi can be such a force, able to power his way to the shot. Here's Holiday, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Pick it up, pick it up. Adetokumbo against George. To the paint. Here's Zubats. He kicks it to Leonard. Over Middleton. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Leonard. Nice play call there. Down the stretch, getting him the open look. Yeah, I put that one on the defense. I mean, they can't leave him open at this stage. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Shooting two. Free throw, good, Holiday. Both free throws good from Holiday. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Wall against Holiday. Wall passes to Leonard. And he converts the layup. Leonard's got 27 points. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. And Holiday kicks to Giannis. What's the roll? For three, Middleton. That shot off the mark. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. George passes to Zubats to tie it up. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Oh, a nice show of strength that time from Paul George, absorbing the hit and still carving out space to get the shot to go down. Thank 
And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. For Milwaukee, they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Middleton outside for the three. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his eighth assist in the game. The long-range markmanship of Middleton cannot be dismissed or forgotten. I mean, even when he's pulling from way outside, he's very capable of making those shots. And it's Leonard missing. Milwaukee's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Giannis dishes to Holiday. Looking for George. He gets it there. Now the pass to Pop. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Shot clock at six. And a miss there on the triple. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. And Giannis throws it down. Well, the aggressive approach from Giannis, I like it. Not settling for the layup, instead punching it on. That's the way you do it. George against Abdekumbo. Right side, George. Zubac, a screen on Middleton. He had a nice open look right there. Leonard's got nine points here in the second half. And, you know, the improvement we've seen over the years from Leonard has been incredible, especially his three-point shooting. George against Abdekumbo. Middleton on the wing over Leonard and good as it just snugs right down through the net Clippers trail by three outside wall here's Leonard Zubats a screen on Middleton Leonard finds Zubats in the corner George with it to tie it up and again, Los Angeles with the triple. And this is the way to stretch the floor. PG-13 with a good look from the corner. And he nails it. Here's Hanson to Kubo. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That one on George. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Clippers trail by three. Up top, Leonard, defended by Middleton. Zubats. That falls. Nice feed that time from Leonard. Leonard's got three assists now in this one. Pass to Antetokounmpo. The Bucks working the ball around. And you know, with Middleton, once he gets himself going, he's really hard to slow down because he's got really good size, a great stroke, and has become more skilled, not only as a shooter, but a ball handler. Leonard inside, defended by Middleton. Powell against Connaughton. Now here's Powell. He's guarded close. Zubats in the post. Defended by Middleton. Zubats kicks to George. Holiday against Wall. Screen by Zubats. Wall finds Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. And that's a double-double for him now. 10 points and 11 rebounds. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. 
They get the rebound. And so George will bring it up for Los Angeles. Kicks it to Powell. Zubats with the screen for Powell. And the dunk by Zubats. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Now, here's Connaughton. Portis can't get it to go. Outside, Wall. And George with the stuff. Oh, George really feeling it right now. Another bucket to his credit. Bucks trail by three. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Holiday, the pass to on Dekumbo. And the double up on to Dekumbo. Here's Holiday. Takes a three. Good on the triple. Holiday's got 18 points now here in the second half. Getting better and better as a playmaker. Giannis is the ultimate team first superstar. He does put up big assist numbers, and that's an evolving part of his game. Leonard with the ball. Picked up by Portis. Here's Zubats. That falls. Nice feed that time from Leonard. Zubats has got eight here in the quarter. The Bucks have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. Eight of 12. Holiday dishes to Middleton. And Connaughton has it in the corner. Passes to Portis. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. And so the ball's out of bounds. Middleton touched it last. And the Bucks making a change here. Lopez is checked in. Powell kicks to Leonard. George looking over the floor. Four on the shot clock. The 17-footer. The rebound by the Bucks. Andrekumbo with the ball. Pass to Middleton. Lopez outside. And another three for Milwaukee. Lopez is really dangerous as a shooter if you give him space to catch and then shoot. Leonard with a screen on Holiday. To the middle. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Wall. Wall's got his seventh assist in the game. Timeout called the Bucks. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, Kevin. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team during the break. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? 
All right, David, thanks. And the Bucks with possession here. And here's Holiday. The pass to Middleton. Lopez, a screen on Leonard. And Middleton kicks to Lopez. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Here's Powell. Here's George. A second chance effort. He lays it in. And now a three-point clipper lead. Hey, when you've got a player like George, in these moments, you turn to him. He knows how to deliver in the clutch. Timeout called the Bucks. Side out of the combo, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on George. And you know, at almost seven feet tall, Antetokounmpo is is dangerous down inside. Really, I mean, the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the paint. Shooting two. First one falls for Good on both. And typically not this reliable at the line, but tonight he's been terrific. Wall against Holiday. Left side wall. Zubats with the screen for Wall. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. And the Clippers lead by three. How about Wall? Outstanding at stepping up and delivering a big bucket when it's needed. Here's onto Takumbo. And good. He nails it. Giannis has got 39. You know, feeling very comfortable taking a big shot when his team needs it. That's a, that's a sign of how Antetokounmpo has matured recently. Now here's Leonard. Over Middleton. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Powell. 
Leonard's got 34. And guys, that's the man you want with the ball in his hands on that critical possession. Kawhi being his best in the biggest moments. George against Giannis. Fades away. It's held in by Zubac. Zubac is Los Angeles leading by three. A three from George. Lopez grabs the board. Milwaukee's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Abedikumbo against Zubac. Giannis inside. Middleton outside. Five to shoot. Anadikumbo, a screen on George. It drops. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Los Angeles calls timeout. Forty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Wall. Rebound, Milwaukee. Now, under Kumbo. To take the lead. Good! And in addition to his great talent, Ante Tukumpo has the reputation of being an outstanding leader as well. He's a clutch player who demands the ball in these situations. You love that. And the Clippers call time here. They're down by two. We've got 28 seconds left here in the fourth quarter.
the shot and game clock separated by four. And there's the feed to Leonard. Over Middleton. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Hey, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now. So they've got to try to manage it. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're ahead by two. 17 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Just a tiny lead for him. And a chance to make it a little bigger right here. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Holiday is such an outstanding two-way player. Fills different roles, helps his team at both ends. He is a joy to watch. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. And that makes it a two-possession game now. Those could turn out to be vital free throws. And the Clippers miss again. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. And, and that's curtains for him. Some really good work at the charity strike to close this one out. From deep can't connect and so the Bucks take the win a narrow win under difficult circumstances Greg as the visiting team it really was but that didn't seem to bother them I mean road team home team all I know is they were the better team well said and now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game hey David thanks very much Giannis great individual performance I guess you're going for another MVP huh and, you know, I try not to think about it that much. Uh, my mind says do my job, do whatever it takes to help my team win, and uh, all I get about is I've got to win. Love the humble brag, man. Congrats on the win. Thanks. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. 
Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.